Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Going Medieval. We are building out the courtyard and getting everything going. We almost got my little kill box going. So essentially what happens is I'm digging it out so that there is only one way they can enter, which is through here. So I will be placing traps so they can all screw it up. And then I will have my men perched up top on kill box areas as they break through the doors. And then they will have to run around through all the traps in here. It's a pretty effective strategy. I used it in my last Let's Play. And I'm going to use it once more. And I'm not, uh, I'm eventually I'm going to do some stone and stuff around it for anti-treb-ish things, but we will keep, uh, going on right now. I have a bunch of berries, as I said earlier, berries are one of the easier ones to get going for your original food supplies, so that's what I've been doing. That's what I'm going to continue to do. We just need a little bit of wood. We, in the last video, got, uh, Kema and Estrelda in the last two videos. In addition to our original Seagulls. I have Estrelda pretty much on all cutting duty. So that will get us a lot of wood. I know I need to focus on a couple of things right now. Primarily getting our bedrooms up. Which I have going right now. And all of this stuff needs to be moved. Um, yeah, they're not moving all that shit yet. I also got some shelves for food that I'm trying to get up right now. So I do know I am going to eventually be digging out underground to do the main uh, food storage. Probably a couple of tiles underground. If you get it down far enough, it gets cold enough that uh, it barely rots. But uh, yeah, this is the, the slow progress of the game. Chronicle. Let's decompose the stockpile. Hmm. Must have been left outside. That's weird. We got ash. Ash? I forget what ash is used for. I know it's used in something pretty important at a later point, though. And I wish they would start hauling stuff. Um, I have made a dumping stockpile. I made it a high priority. You're supposed to put waste, carcasses, and raw materials, like all of this stuff. It shouldn't... None of this should uh, decompose. So... And they should be bringing the food down. Yeah, they're they're letting me down. That's for sure. But hopefully they'll get caught up with all their chores. I think once I get everything here going, we'll be in good shape. Yeah. This is pretty dope, though. I, uh, I almost have all the terraforming out around my base. We're doing pretty good there. I know I gave them way too much work. And we got the little pillbox areas up, which is pretty dope. Let me find my button. There's always a button. I can't find my button. Well, oh, that's right, it's over here. Button found. Yeah, so I got these little pillboxes that I'm building. And that's uh, something I learned in my last Let's Play series, was that during the height of winter, if you have your people out in anticipation, they can pretty much freeze to death. So my goal is to eventually expand this out maybe a little bit, but to have it clay brazers in each of these, and have my units just waiting in there and keeping warm. These are also good for retreating, so if I'm in the middle of combat, someone gets really screwed up, they can run back into here. You know what, I might even... Um, do is potentially expand this out one more tile in each direction and um, maybe expand this out and put infirmary beds in there. Maybe it'd be a good idea to have that stuff kind of closer. I have a couple infirmary beds over here and uh, we're just, yeah, we got so many little projects going on right now. It's, uh, it's hard to keep up with everything, but we got all that. I got a birch farm over here that I'm going to start getting. Eventually, once all the terraforming is done and there's only one way in, it will uh, be a lot easier for me. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Long, and I've cut up all the roads. But it'll be a lot easier for me because I'll be able to actually use all of this area. And there's only going to be one way in, which will be right here. And then I can just do whatever I want realistically. But yeah, we got so much good stuff going on right now. Just kind of have to let them all do their thing. But we're ready for the next attack. I got everybody in bow, and I got Steven Seagal with the sword and shield. Pretty badass. Um, let's 
Scott and Randy are definitely doing everything I need them to do. What's our settlers are unhappy? They're becoming annoyed. We have research available. Yeah, I potentially need to get. Hmm. Let's do tailoring. Just to get it unlocked. And then. I know I probably need to focus on some form of entertainment. All I got's backgammon and Jesus. Um. Or Oak Brother Jesus. I guess the, we're restitution shrines. I have one in here. And that honestly should be sufficient, but it's not. I have a backgammon table up in this quadrant right here. So there's yeah, there's not a lot there's not a lot to do in this town right now. Definitely need to think about that. Alright, so our schedule, so what I've done is I've given them eight hours of sleep. Two hours of leisure, and at the end of the day, they can do whatever they want if they want to continue working on things or have more leisure time. It allows their mood to dictate their actions. You could even go with anything here, but I am kind of a hard ass and I want them working, so I'm going to leave it there. But just some observation. Holy cow, we're almost done with this, too. You can see, essentially, what you want to do is make sure you have a divider in the middle. That way, when they break in, the melee units just kind of walk around in this area and so and then also um it allows you to kind of pull back your guys because it blocks their range of sight but it pretty much puts you in control of everything which is what i really like about it it works really well and this layer up here is just to block their archers uh what well, in what in the, what happens is that you get attacked by like up to 12 or 14 archers and you have six people and i as playing on this difficulty i've lost the Lost a lot of ma uh, matches, and I got my ass kicked, so... Essentially, you want to just channel them in and, and try to focus them, but uh, you need to be able to retreat your guys at any moment. Most likely, I could pull back into the, these little corners here. Well, Randy and Kim are now friends. How... how wonderful. <laughs> yay, yay! <laughs> my enthusiasm is... Uh, through the roof. All right, cool. So let's let's get the sewing station up. Hmm. I don't want to put it in the re research room. I want to. I need to make some more room in here. I'll probably need to make more crafting rooms too. What we want to do is make sure we don't go anywhere near the terraforming here. As you can see, this all goes outside. We got plenty of room this direction, though, so that's great. What we might need to do is start terraforming out this direction. Yeah, we could put more storage back in there. And then I need to terraform a staircase down there. Okay, we'll get that started. And I can't wait till we get metal and iron and that, and I can make the iron traps. They're just a lot better. But uh, we're getting real close. I feel like I need to stop adding to the design. And once everything's done, I'll, I'll open this up and we'll be in good shape. But uh, got a lot of wolves back here in her design, which kind of scares me. Nice. Randy got speechcraft one. I don't know what he did to get speechcraft up, but uh, he's needs to just make him books. That's pretty cool, though. So others are suffering from cold. All right. So we do probably need to like look into clothing and all the good stuff that comes along with that. Let's relocate this. If we're gonna have it like so, I guess we have this one tile where they can walk through. So that's no big deal. And we can now- Oh, we got wooden beams. Perfect. We need to put wooden beams throughout everything here. Especially these storage areas. 
and use a little corner open. I just want to make sure that we don't have any kind of structural issues. Okay, cool. Corner there, and that should keep everything good. I know I'm overdoing it. You don't need to do that. I'm just super paranoid about stuff. Paranoid about the roof caving in. Alright, so here's a sewing station. And this is about as big as the boiler. And we can figure out what we're gonna do. Oh cool, look at this. Got the shelves. Um let's put these on like high priority. And yeah, we can put medicine, all types of stuff in there. That's great. We could do a lot of food storage in that area. Mo mainly I use these for storing food. I think they can be used to store other things pretty well, but a lot of stuff... It. The walls are closing in. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, nice, we got bits. Alright, and let's get some bookshelves. I like to put bookshelves in the rooms. The chair. Yeah, we need to start making clothing. People are getting weird. I don't know why they prefer to sleep in their shit beds. Um, I have to tell them to, to deconstruct it. And eventually I'm probably going to tear this room down. Like I was talking about earlier. And I'm going to build out a nice little hospital up top with infirmary. So when they get wounded they have somewhere to go. We're going to get rid of all this crap. I'm going to have them expedite building. I think we'll go with Steven on this one. This bed up. The others are coming annoyed. Alright, and in order to make these rooms, I'm going to have to put doors on everything. Man, there's so much garbage everywhere in this space. i got to clean this all up. There we go. Get the doors, and then they'll become rooms. Shit. Now Steven's broken. It's up. All right, it's up to you, Scat. No. Maybe Steven's doing it, even though he's broken. I gotta um. Shit. Now Scott's all pissed. I gotta figure out what, what I'm doing wrong here. They're starving. Fuck. Why are they so stupid? There's tons of food. Oh, I accidentally hit cut and oh my god. Just doing so many noob stuff right now. So what happens when you don't play for two days? Well, they'll they'll replant it. Okay, cool. Everyone's so freaking hungry, but they can't harvest their own food. I just need to get everyone fed so they don't starve to death. And then once they're fed, they'll start going back to work. All right, and then I need to um, let's go to jobs. Let's make sure that Randy is. Not Randy, sorry, Scott. Yeah, Scott's on cut plants, but he's not on, hmm. He's on harvest. Oh wow, he's on a lot of stuff. Might be the problem. Okay, um. Let's get Kema on growing and harvesting as the backup. That seems like a great idea. You do have two people kind of focused on this. And let's start uh, getting some backup food. I'm really worried because winter's coming and I don't really have a high food supply. I'm just going to stop giving them work to do. Accidentally cut all those freaking plants. <gasps> oh lord. 
harvest. Hailstorm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm getting hailstorms now. Yeah, it's getting, uh... Day 12 of summer, but it's not gonna last. We need to definitely speed up everything that I'm doing. Alright, so we're gonna... This gets really serious. You you can actually very easily freeze to death. Um, so you want to make sure that everywhere is provided. Eat. Okay. Cool. That should do it. And we need to really start getting everything in its proper place. We need to have them start hauling stuff. And let's hope that didn't destroy my sh my shrubberies. Okay, cool. Didn't getting the trees going. We just have so many jobs going on right now. But I gotta get I gotta get this place set up. The others are starving again. Okay. This is driving me fucking crazy. I have two people set to prioritize this stuff. And they're not doing it. It's, doesn't make any fucking sense to me. I'm starting to... Sometimes games piss me off too much. Just like, it's number one. What the hell is she doing? She's always sleeping, she's running around, she's doing this, that. Nine hours of work. At one point in the day, she should come out here and harvest shit. Alright, cool. At least I got them underground. Um, I don't know if that's going to improve their moods much. Eat raw food. Yeah, we need to start cooking. Autumn. Cool. Still got a little bit of time, but we need to really start stockpiling food. Desperately thirsty. No, she, that she's, the, she's the chick who likes alcohol. Cold, slightly hungry, deprived of religious activities. Well, I'm hoping to convert them all to the same religion. Um... Slept in a nice bed. Doesn't look like I'm getting a room bonus. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I can boot out each of these rooms a couple tiles. Um, make them bigger that way. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Okay. But I need to make sure that people are eating. It seems like not eating is what's really driving the happiness. But like, I don't understand why she won't continuously harvest. She's hungry, I get it. Everybody else is working but her. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally she goes. Okay. She ran all the way downstairs. Okay, so I gotta put a table or something. I gotta put a table upstairs. That's, okay, yeah, that's a huge mistake I've made. Um, not having a table and chairs. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Okay, we're getting attacked shit. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You start getting attacked. This, they got a battering ram. Almost every... They have no ranged. They have no ranged units whatsoever. This actually kind of sucks because I really don't want to fight right now. I have... I'm trying to like not, you know, starve to death and it's like as soon as I finally get stuff going <laughs> this is just a nightmare. Uh, all right. Hey, everybody, let's hope that this, uh, I didn't get my terraforming done. So they should come for only the doorway, though. All right, so Steven, realistically, Steven just needs to come back here. Um, one of the points of doing this, though, is also to get crossfires, which I think is just cool. And I'm going to put these guys kind of out of range, so when they pop in... They're pretty screwed, so let's see which way these gentle folk go. Ever 
So they are. Okay, cool. So they found the way in, but they're running around the defenses, and that's terrific. They're not very smart. They go for the doors. So what I'm going to do eventually is also have traps out here. So they'll break in. I'll repair the doors after this. I'm going to... Oh, we're already on the highest speed. It's funny is they don't really prioritize correctly because they have a dude with a long hikeish thing and the, the lady that they want is just sitting around. I'm going to put towers out here too because um, that with the doors, I, I realize I should definitely have little areas outside, especially when there's no ranged units that could be taking extreme advantage of this. They have absolutely no way. We're, we're going to destroy every single one of these people. Um, they have no way to really do shit to me. And they take it forever, though. My only complaint. But we're gonna get a bunch of gear out of this, and hopefully we can prioritize moving that down. But, I might need to add a couple more doors to this design. It, it can get pretty crazy. I mean, if they have the proper units, they can bust through this stuff quickly. These are the weak units, the early game units. You don't really see much. But, I mean, this guy's having a problem just busting talents. Something that realistically should take just like one or two good kicks. Um, yeah, he's having a real, having a real trouble with this. And probably because he's using a pitchfork. And yeah, pitchfork isn't my ideal weapon for home intrusion. If, if I had one, uh, I guess I don't, I never really thought about that. I don't really have a preferred weapon for that. If I, if I were though, it'd probably be this, what this, uh, this lady right here has. And hopefully she does something other than just walk around. You gotta admire the strength though to one hand a log. That's a pretty intimidating feat. I guess that's, that's what she's doing. <laughs> this is the worst part of the design though, is that, uh, it's meant to buy me time. Oh wow. They took so long. <laughs> It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Maybe I don't even need defenses. I just I just need really a, a bunch of doors. All right. Well, <laughs> there that was anticlimactic. All right, cool. I'm gonna get food for people. Thank you. Crap. She's not harvesting. Cutting. I don't know what she's doing. I need to undo it. And then I just need to call it. There we go. I don't know why she was cutting them up. But now she's done working, but at least we have enough food for people to eat so they don't go crazy. All right, and Steven's all broken up about something. Deprived of religious activities and he really wants booze. Okay. Well, I can't, uh, can't help him with everything, but I'm going to put a table and stuff outside and I'll move it inside once I get the housing up. I don't want to add too much to their plate. I'm really hoping to, uh, get everyone caught up on their work so that we can just finish the rest of this. And we really, really need to actually expand on this. We just need so much more berries. I think this will do it right here. I think this will feed everybody. Do it right. Get copy instead of expand. There we go. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you can see here, you can get... This is what I was talking about earlier. There's ripe, ripening, and flowering, and you get seeds from normal plants, but from berries, you just, you just get berries. That's what makes them amazing. And I want these as a very high priority. Alright, Steven Seagal is broken. Um, I don't know why he's broken. He had to eat deprived of religious activity. whoop de doo I don't... They, he wants Oak, Oak Brethren Jesus, and I don't really want Oak Brethren Jesus. 
I like I like things the way they are. All right, what technologies do we get? Fermenting? Yeah, they'd all be happier if they're a little drunk. But uh, I'd rather have clay. I'd rather have heftier structures. Hungry, praying, hungry, sleeping, praying. All right, cool. Our goat died. Yeah, we need to get a table up here because they're spending too much time running downstairs to eat. Eventually, we'll have a table downstairs. Um, it's cool about having all your crops near your your area here is you can get stuff down quick. Yeah, people are getting cold. Well, we got clay brazers in there. We got a lot of clay brazers being... Okay, cool. Finally. We finally got Kema doing her job. Nice. People are finally getting back to good spirits. Nice. It's possible these bushes are only good for so many harvests, but they're still just very superior. Nice, and we're getting that. The table. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, she's getting resources for building the table. Cool. This is going along really nice. Yeah, eventually I'm going to destroy this whole thing and rework it, make it something nice. I kind of want, like, a upper rec room and an under rec room and just all the all the nicety things. And then we have a garden and it would be beautiful. We got Look at all that coal outside we got. Yikes. We got coal and iron right here. That's wonderful. That's really cool, actually. We only need a small strip for them to be able to come in, so we can strip mine that whole thing. Cool. That's definitely more than enough food, but... Uh, we're definitely going to need as much food as we possibly can get. I don't know how long it's going to take them to pull all this dirt out. I don't know why they aren't moving it to my stockpile. Cool. We have an outside table. It's not the it's not the best. It's not ideal, but uh. All right. People are making friends. I don't really like that too much. I kind of feel like that should be working, making sure that we don't all starve to death. But uh, I guess friendship's important. I don't think it's more important than starving to death, though. There's a lot of shit, dirt everywhere. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're not going to freeze to death. That's a huge... Oh, man, we got so much clay from mining all this stuff out. Yeah, I'm really stoked about not freezing to death, though. That's probably the best accomplishment. Ooh, look. We got this. Um, We need fabric. We'll have to grow that. All right, we'll do... Pretty much I like to do everything until you have at least two. Oh, shit. Yep, we need caps, definitely. What else we got? Wide hats. Well, you can make wide hats from hay. Uh, why not? We got lots of that. Now, if anyone has any spare time, they can make wide hats. Okay. Got one weapon rack. Great. Move priority. I don't know why they aren't moving shit, though. That's, I, I could potentially put one, someone on haul, but I don't know who I would put on hauling duty. Hmm. Put Steven the Gaul on hauling duty. Maybe... Oh, yeah, Estrella's not really doing shit. Let's put Estrella to hauling duty. That's a good job for her. We definitely need to start getting stuff stacked. <laughs> they had one terrible conversation. They're no longer friends. That's great. 
adds up. That's all it takes. One terrible conversation. Alright, let's get a healing up next. I don't know. We got a lot of sticks outside. Looks like we need a little bit more wood. Scott's got us all, all together. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's got a bookshelf now, so that that's great. Bookshelves go in. The, uh, we should probably put bookshelves in here. We should actually probably get doorways and make this a proper library. If we get the any bonuses for it. And uh, we'll need to put. I think we'll need to put two or so bookshelves in there. Cool. Let, let's look. Uh, where is it? Rooms detected. So this will tell you what you need for rooms. You need one bed, so those are all five chambers. And then if we want a, uh, we can make a great hall, an infirmary. Infirmary just needs infirmary bed and two medicine shells. Oak brethren requires a shrine and two wall decorations. Yeah, library, one basic research bench, and two bookshelves. Oh wow, that's, that's like ridiculously easy. Oh gosh, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> That's really easy, though. Mm-hmm. I just need to do two bookshelves in there. Boom. We got ourselves a freaking library. A research room. Right. Writing, gardening, hauling. Okay, cool. People are doing what I want to do. Yeah, we got a lot. This is going to be an immense amount of food, but we're going to need to really start stockpiling stuff. This is great. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of other stuff we could grow. I just... Another person? 15 marksmen. 51. And they're a gardener. 51. Hmm. Don't have room for them. I feel like we have two. We're just. We have. We only have so many. Like, we're. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm really. I, I'm really happy with the five people we have. And we're, like, finally in a good. Like, I'm, I'm at a place where I just really want to build up what I have. And, uh, I don't want to have to tell them to build in another additional room when I'm just getting them the first rooms, and they're all so full of shit. Um, now, uh, Steven, why'd you step on that? Maybe I should remove these so they don't step on them. What happens is the enemy comes in and then they walk around because there's no... You saw how they all stood around outside. They do the same thing, but it looks like my people are stepping on that stuff too, so. Alright, let's get some herbs. Get some mushrooms. Damp? Well, it's damp because you're weird, Steven. Not my fault, it's damp. We need to get some kind of like flooring, I think. Carpet. I don't know if they have carpet. We need it. Pretty bad. Oh yeah, wooden floors. Cool. Wicker floor, limestone. Yeah, let's let's get get some flooring in this. 
in these rooms. Can't get it underneath the freaking doors for some reason. Get it above. Alright, that'll be good enough for me. Alright. That's cool. Pretty happy about that. Feel like we're we're gonna finally get on track this year. No more no more building stuff. Okay, so they got what all do they have to dig? Okay, we got that dug out. Make sure there's no ramps. Okay. Oh, there's one ramp. But they can't use that ramp to get down here. So that's perfect. Um, okay. We got all this. We got all that. Got just the one way in. Got that dug out. Perfection, perfection. That dug out. Holy cow. Oh, one tile. I'm actually... I'm gonna have Scott go dig this out right now. I just want that done. And then there's that little tile over there, and those tiles over there. Crap. Okay, so that's dug out, that's dug out. None of the other stuff matters as if they can't get up there. Alright, we're good. Perfection. Yeah, that's what's doing it. If you if I use the uh Harvest tool on this gets rid of it. I have to click. Har it's weird. I just have to let them do it themselves, I guess. No, I did it. Weird. They must only have so many. Weird. I'll figure it out one day. But uh, yeah, I think you only need one berry to make a, a bush and you get 12 per per bush. So yeah, you're getting a pretty good return. All right, and eventually, nice. Strella's actually hauling all these berries downstairs. So that's fantastic. Actually stockpiling stuff now. Wonderful. Yeah, what's the temperature here? We got three days, 17 hours until it decomposes and then it will turn to rot. It's Lone Traveler. That's fine. It's inside a storeroom, which they say is great. Um, oh, nice. So there's lots of cloth. You can store cloth, healing kits, seeds. All types of good stuff in here. Alright, well, I'll just let her keep working her magic. We're getting close. Emma's okay, got her work cut out for her. I'm just happy we have food. Alright, let's see what this dude has for trade. Can't pass up on anything good. Fuck, Steven Seagal was all the way out there. It's the only bad thing about this. Once we're done out here, I mean, once we're done with this, though, they won't be running those distances anymore. So this is buying. I like to buy the apples. Um, 
not going to buy any seeds yet. Junk it? I don't even know what junk it is. They don't... He doesn't have much. I'll take the one apple seed. I'll get those going. Um, I like the apples because they add variety. Where are you? Pretty sure I have like five. Yeah, we'll grow apples in the corner, but that'll give us some fruit. More fruit. Yeah, we need to start uh, figuring out how to get a little bit more variety. Cool. Everybody's doing their jobs, sleeping. Once we get the flooring in, that'll be pretty cool. I think I need to bust these op open a couple more tiles. Oof, we're so close to the, the defense design. I think this will be about it for busting. This is as far as these, these can go. We got lots, lots of uh, food. Current phase, ripening 51%. Yeah, I was, that's why they're being cut, because I was harvesting them before they were ready. That makes sense. You just have to let them naturally do their thing. All right. Harvesting, writing, get, getting resources for construction. Steven is... Doing the Lord's work. And he's almost done. Man, he's got to go so freaking far. You just got to get that one last... Looks like that's it. That's the last tile. Oh, wow. Well, I definitely know that the pathfinding is working because he had to run all the way here. I'm really glad the wolves aren't aggressive right now. Boom. I think that was it. Yeah, holy cow. Alright, so if I wanted Kima to come all the way here, which route would she take? Alright. So there's, yeah, there's literally, this is it. Okay. All right. Um, well, that means that we can line up a doorway. This will be the main road. Get rid of that. And now we have our own little backyard. We'll get rid of that. No, Steven. You need to dig that up fast. Terraforming complete. This is like the, the best part of the game right here. Boom! That's, I don't care if he's rebellious. All I care about is the fact that I now have my full terraforming completed. And we're, we're sitting pretty now. I'm gonna get a stone road here sometime. Cool. We got a bunch of food coming in. We need this food pretty bad before the winter. Hopefully we... Yeah, the winters are really hard to get through. I don't have an, enough food to feel pretty good about myself. Um, we got a lot of other stuff, but... Ah, shit. I fucked up right here. Alright. I'm gonna have to put a wooden wall piece. Forgot you have to do this one tile at a time. Build that wall piece, then I can remove it and like, start digging out again. But yeah, we'll have a big old, big old room. The further down you go, the colder it gets, so... We need to probably go down one or two more tiles. Alright. 
I'm making good progress, though. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. We got a lot done. So, thank you all so much for watching.